Good day, it's time to fall in once again and indeed a privilege. If I had to give a topic title to my, my message, it will be when less is actually more. Now when we talk about more, I think uh, you know a person will say if I drive a, a two-liter car, I want a three-liter car. If I stay in a two-bedroom house, I want a three-bedroom house and, and so on. More is always more, bigger. And uh, you always see somebody else has got something uh, better than yours and you want that. And that is how you want to increase. You want a bigger job. You want more salary. That is the way we traditionally uh, look at more. But I want to give you another perspective today. And this is typically that we find in the Bible where uh, John the Baptist came and he said that he needs to become less. That the Holy Spirit in him can become more. So... In that, in that uh, viewpoint, you have to become less so that you can become more. That's the biblical principle because it's all about me, myself, and I. But once we start looking at Scripture and we start looking at what the Bible says and what the Bible stands for, we need to start focusing on other people and do things for other people and not just for yourself. And as the Bible also says, the Lord will come and he will trim the branches so that the tree can grow better. Now, if you are not being trimmed, then you're not loved because the Bible says you are uh, whom God loves, he disciplines. And you love your children, so you discipline your children. So we need all of this flesh side of us to be trimmed and that the spirit of the living God in us can become more and more and more so that is where more really becomes less if we look at the book of James in chapter 1 verse 1 it says consider it pure joy when you when you encounter trials and tribulations because it goes it grows character this is stuff that has everlasting value and 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 moth and rust can't can't affect it and really we need to get our mind sorted out to deal with this. And I hope you find this encouraging. Allow me to pray. Abba Father God, your word is yes and amen, Lord. And your word gives gives light to our feet, to our path, to our feet, Lord. It's the salt, Lord, that we need. And Father God, we need your word, Lord. You That's the owner's manual. That is the manual, Father God, that we need to follow because you created us and you are the author of the, of the word of God. So in, Lord, I, I ask that we would be encouraged, Lord, to read your word, Lord, and to study your word and to become more and more like you, Lord. And that we can say like John the Baptist, Lord, I need to come le become less. My flesh needs to come less so that the spirit of the living God can become more in me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Until we meet again, stay blessed and take care. Bye-bye.